Guys, it's your long lost friend, Rick Hagen, reporting back in from a long hiatus. I've had time to sit down and reflect, and it hit me like a ton of bricks. I've had people ask me, why haven't you been on YouTube? And the honest answer is, I don't know. You know, I'm caught up in work. Uh, I dedicate my heart and soul to my occupation in terms of my energy, my intensity. But as you still know, I bring to the gym. The thing is, I just, I'm so exhausted all the time that I can't hit quite those, the same numbers that I want to hit. I can't just set PRs every single day is what I'm trying to say. But after people continually ask me, why have you not been on, on the YouTube? It makes me ponder. It makes me realize that that's not a legit reason to stop uploading. I still possess knowledge, tidbits, if you will, that I could throw your way. And even if they're not the golden, most shiny golden tidbits, they're still tidbits. So I'm just going to throw this one your way and we're going to get right back on track and I'll keep uploading maybe on a daily basis. We'll see how things go. But I just don't want to be a generic cookie cutter is what I'm trying to say. Right? Whether I want to hit PRs or whether I want to throw the, the greatest tidbits you've ever heard of, like that's what has been in my mind. But I've realized that that's, that's uh, what's the word? Finite? No. What does that even mean? Infinite? I don't have an infinite amount of the golden tidbits, but I do have tidbits still. So I'm going to upload this one for you guys because everything I upload, it's these things that I truly believe in. And... All the info is on YouTube. You can find it yourself. You can Google yourself. You can do anything you want. But the fact is, if you trust me, then you'll give it a shot. Because I, didn't tr I don't trust anyone. And that's why I haven't done this until I started really incorporating it. <clears throat> so just for demo purposes, I got these really like uh, kettlebells. Look at where my mind is at. I'm just... <sighs> okay. So just Zotman curls, guys. Zotman curls. I don't do really any direct arm work anymore. I went through that phase a tad bit, right, where I was doing arms every single day. I was doing easy curls, easy bar curls, straight bar curls, all sorts of dumbbell curls and the concentration curls, trying to put all these, all these gains in my arms. And then I got back to real training, right, overhead presses, getting back in deads and all that good stuff. And it's all about max efficiency with your time. So really, overhead press, boom, your shoulders are all set, right? Your dad's got your traps, it's got your lats, it's got your glutes, it's got your hams. You throw some squats in there, right? Cover all the bases of the entire lower body. And every once in a blue moon, right? You can pull ups in your bench. Really, that's all you need, right? Stay away from all the, all the fluffy extra stuff because really, it's just, it's not like it's not going to do anything, but it's just not the most efficient time to spend in the gym. You'll get more bang for your buck. It's like working a better paying job versus a lower paying job. Which one would you rather work? You want to get more money for your time or do you want to make less money? So you just got to do what's going to get you more bang for your buck. That's all I'm trying to say. So what I'm really trying to say with that statement that I just said is that if you're going to do any direct arm work, you don't really need to do a million things at all. The number one arm exercise, well not arm, you know, buys Number one bicep movement is the Zotman curl, right? Because with this one particular movement, you're hitting your biceps, you're hitting your forearms as well. And it's something I never really gave a shot before. Because it's like, well, I can't use as much weight as when I just swing the weights, right? You do these cheat curls or whether you're doing incline curls or anything like that. You have to go a little, little lighter with the old Zotman curls. But I'm telling you... It might feel a little funky the first couple times you try it, but after a while, right, you grease that movement pattern. You're like, wow, yeah, this feels really good, right? Isolating the biceps, reverse curling on the way down. It's like the perfect movement pattern. I am telling you, it's the perfect movement pattern for a little bit of that, that arm flexion. Feel it on the biceps, boom, turn that little, you know, snake over, boom, all on the forearms. I do my overhead pressing almost every single day, as you guys see. I'll do RDLs or something. Uh, you know, I like to do one or two movements. 
And then for the icing on the cake now, I've just been doing Zop, Zopman curls. I feel like the vascularity in my arms is improving. I feel like my grip strength's even improving. So that's the little tidbit. Like I said, it's not really that golden, but it's something to throw your way so that we can get back on this, this uh, gain strain of the YouTube vids. Um, sorry I let you guys down. Haven't been uploading as much in the past. We're going to get right back on. You know, really, there's no excuse for that. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Turn it off.